let's have a quick conversation while some retirees get killed doing a stock market downturn. We about to discuss how the stock market is really not truly versified. It's really no versification in the stock market and I'm about to prove my point today. The start market is a platform for public owned companies that allow people or institution to buy, sell, or hold a portion of the company. The start market is controlled by the powers to be and regulated by several federal government agencies. I personally seen tweets, emails, and news reports move the start market. All right. Now we are gonna need to use our imagination to get the lesson from this. So picture the start market as a house. And this house has 11 columns or 11 sectors that hold up this house, which is the start market. These 11 sectors include healthcare, customer discretionary, industrial, customer staple, utilities, real estate, materials, energy, communication, finance, and information. Those 11 columns hold up the house, which we call the start market. So all those sectors sits in the house of the start market. Now, since we have the house of the start market, let's go back in time and look at what history tells us. Because remember, history can predict the future. Back in 2020, we had something to call the virus was this tornado in this picture. And look at the old little start market, sit there, chilling, relaxing. Everybody's making a whole bunch of money. Now, what would happen if this tornado or virus hits this house? What will happen next? The house will get demolished. Things will get tore down. Things will drop. Things will break. Now, nothing won't disappear because it's still there, but it's in a broken stage. This is called a market crash. This is called a market crash or a market turndown. It's when before the house was sitting up on these 11 sectors and an outside event came through, knocked over the house and you left with this. Let's get some more examples of history so we can predict the future. Now I know y'all guys remember the housing crisis back in 2008. Guess what happened during that time? The market crashed. Again, just like the virus hit it, it fell to the ground and they had to build it back up. In the early 2000s, we had the uh, dot-com bubble. It came down like a fire, burned the house down, and guess what happened? Guess what happened? Tell me what happened next. In all these cases, the start market fell to the ground and had to get rebuilt. But it's a key thing you need to look at. Now, when you are rebuilding the start market, or let's just say you kind of bearish on the start market, those 11 sectors will go back up to form your house. But some sectors will be smaller. Some sectors will be bigger. It's coin who got affected most by the downturn. Who got affected most about, for example, with coronavirus? I can't even say I can't even say corona, but with this virus, the tra transportation and also the vacations stocks got hit the most. Why? Because people want to stay inside. If people stay inside, they can't go out and spend their money at these resorts, at these restaurants. So that sector went down. Now a sector that went up was healthcare. Why did healthcare went up? Well, you got something called uh, the jab and they made billions and billions and billions of dollars off the jab. 
you see how it works so the start market will take a hit but it will hopefully it will rebuild but the key is we don't know what areas it will rebuild on maybe uh the information uh, sector or column got smaller and the healthcare got bigger maybe the utilities blew up and the real estate got smaller because it's all under the house that's why you cannot diversify if you only invest in the start market because every five to ten years maybe 15 something's gonna come around and knock that house over and if you are about to retire and all your asset classes is in the start market which is only one class you about to get slaughtered you go ahead and take the pigs to the butcher and cut them up you gonna get slaughtered that's why we need to do this we need to diversify in different asset classes it's a lot of them it's a whole lot of classes uh, you got the option market. The option market looks at the start market, but it's not the start market. It just looks at it. So as the start market go up and down, the option market, which is a derivative, will go up and down. That's is separate from the start market. So it's its own asset class. We have business, service, and products. Uh, a real standalone business or service. It's not the start market. They run, they run by themselves. So if a start market crash, not necessarily your business go stop selling because your grocery store, watch this. What happened if a start market crash? Do the grocery stores down the street crash too? No, they don't cause they separate. Real estate, real real estate, owning or controlling property is separate from the start market for the most part, for the most part. If the start market crash, you know, they may lower interest rates. And when they lower interest rates, people buy more houses. Because just remember, in every crash, a lot of people get super rich and a lot of people be down in the dirt. And the people who uh, who benefit in crashes, they buy up more assets. They buy more things up, more things to make money. So that's what you, in every single recession in the past 21 years, Time it crashed, people got rich. Praying for a crash. Also, you can look at things like commodities. Commodities, uh, they trade on something called, I think the futures or something, but metal, wood, silver, gold, those are commodities. And usually they are not associated with the start market, but sometimes they are. Now here are some of my examples of a quick notes of different asset classes I wrote down. You have digital currency, you have artwork, you have bank products, earned income, private REITs, real estate, commodities, skills, start market, guns and ammo, businesses, options, relationships, collectibles, and government bonds. Those are all different asset classes that we need to partake on. And if you are about to retire, and the majority, I mean, I mean a big majority, of your wealth is in the start market, you may want to start investing in different asset classes so you truly, truly, truly could get diversified. Oh, one thing I left off this list is digital currency. Bitcoin, uh, theory, digital currency. That's a totally different asset class. But again, guys, this is my life, my money. Make sure you hit the like button. If, if you learn, if you, if I brought value to you on this conversation, please hit the like button. Please share out and leave me a comment. Show me what kind of access classes are you investing in. My life, my money. Thank you. Hey, everybody. I just got off the phone with a good friend, and she gave me some advice. She said, Louis, since it's the holidays, have you thought about lowering your book? I have it, but guess what? I just lower my prices. Guys, if you are... I'm just gonna put this out here. If you have a full-time job with benefits and you don't have a thousand at least a thousand dollars in the bank and the one to two months of emergency income in the bank too, you need to get this book 
especially at this reduced weight. You don't have time to waste, so you could get the ball rolling, start achieving the things you want in your life, and also help support a good Paul, a good cause. This book is not for me. I don't want none of the credit for this book. This book is for God. Give all the all the glory to God. Once you read it, please leave a comment. And also with this book, if if you see anything wrong with it, shoot me an email, shoot me a message. Because just like I talk about in my book, this book is continuous improvement. So every time it's an opportunity to approve it, it will get approved. But guys, make sure you get your copy. Make sure you take, uh, make sure you benefit from this lower price for this next couple of weeks. It's a great book. It's, it's, you can read this book in two ways. You can read it as a whole, the whole story, or you can just jump to the parts that says what I learned. And you can read the book in half of the time. But guys, make sure you get your copy today. Don't miss this great opportunity. Uh, learn about money, finance, learn about strippers, learn about relationships, learn about self-improvement, learn about business, learn about investments, learn about ownership. It's a lot to learn and it's a very quick weed. Thank you. Make sure you get your copy today and stay tuned.